Okay, today we're going to do a quick review on the uh, Cold Steel GI Tonto Knife. So I got this knife uh, a while back, and it's kind of bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I really, really like it. Let me give you a quick look at it first. The sheath is very well made. Uh, it also gives you the options of different mounting, if you want to mount it a different way on mall attachments or anything like that. Um, chances are this would just go in the tool section of a bug out bag for me. Um, here's the knife. feels really good in my hand. Um, you have this here as an extra sort of handguard, but the handguards are integral on this one. So you don't have to worry about them breaking off. It's basically one piece of steel with the polymer handguards on it. I may eventually in the future stipple them because they are kind of slick. I've noticed that. And, you know, in here I'm not sweaty and hot, but you get outside and that might be a mess. So it's pretty much a no-nonsense tactical knife. Um, it's got a bunch of uses. I wouldn't say it's a bushcraft knife, but it probably could be used for that. Um, the only thing I don't like about it, and I'm not going to strip off, is this coating, because I tried to use a uh, fire starter rod with it, and it didn't uh, work too well because it's got this thick powder coating on it. Um, it's very well balanced. Uh, it could be used as a throwing knife, I guess you could say, you know. But um, all in all, it's uh, pretty comfortable to hold. So you really get your money's worth out of this. I think this was... Uh, I want to say 30 something or 28 or something. It is made in China. Um, it's 1055 carbon steel. Uh, it's a very popular choice for carbon based steels from what I've seen in the knife world. Remember, I'm very new to it, um, but it's a pretty popular choice. Um, I did put a little bit of an edge on it, got a little bit sharper. I use my, and I'll do a review on this pretty soon, my Work Sharp sharpener. This thing is awesome, by the way. I'll do a quick review on that in a while. I won't get into that right now. But all in all, I'm pretty pleased with it. So what I'm going to do, aside from boring you here with showing you pictures of a knife, is take it outside and do some uh, chopping and testing of it. So we'll head out there now. Okay, so we're outside now. And uh, first thing I'm going to do with this is see how well it cuts wood. I've got some, a little bit of wood here from my fire pile over there. I'm getting some nice... Nice slivers. Really, really trims that wood nice and thin. If I was making some kindling for a fire, that would be pretty darn good right there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me make sure it's in the camera, because this is probably the first time I've done this outside. Move it a little closer. There you go. Okay. So as you can see, all in all, it's pretty darn sharp. I mean, I did put a little bit of a, I touched up the edge out of the box. But as far as making little slivers for starting a fire, more than adequate. Now, let me get another hunk of wood here. <coughs> I'm going to try and chop through this piece of wood right here. Let's see. And this piece of wood underneath isn't exactly level, but you get the idea. More than adequate for the task. It does a good job. If I want to chop with it, So I can chop and knock with it. I'm kind of going towards my hand, which I probably shouldn't be doing like that, but there you go. All in all, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, still feels razor sharp there, so it holds an edge pretty well. But that's it. That's the Cold Steel GI Tonto. If you're looking for a knife and you're on a bit of a budget, um, it'll definitely do the job. It's not a bush, bushcraft knife. But uh, it can definitely take care of most projects if you need them to be done and you need an affordable knife. Anyway, thanks for watching.